Oh my god, it's finally here. It's fun. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Oh my god, guys, Cyber Hunter is finally here. It's in soft release at the moment in Indonesia, and I'm going to be the first to play it and show you what it's all about. Better than Rules of Survival, better than Creative Destruction. Let's go! <laughs> So here we are guys, Cyber Hunter again is finally released and we're going to check out exactly what it has to offer. I'm working closely with the devs, so I've got access to this soft release. Uh, people in Indonesia, if you want to play it now, you can play it in Indonesia and Singapore as it's finally released in, in those countries. As you can see, the only server available is the Southeast Asian server. I'm going to be playing on, a, on an emulator to show you exactly what the graphics look like on an emulator. The ultra graphics, so let's take a look. Woo! Look at these custom pictures. Oh my god, look at this art. That looks dope. Oh snap, here we go. Oh yes. Right, so again guys, we've got Zero and Max's characters. Obviously we're picking Zero, what are you talking about? And basically guys, if you make an account now on this server, the only server is a Southeast Asian server. So me making an account now means that this will be my account on this Southeast Asian server. So make sure... Um, well, when, when the other servers release, basically, you'll be able to make your characters on those. But here we go, guys. We've got the custom stuff again. These were some freaky stuff last time. I remember in my last video, these, were, these girls were freaky. Customization on the characters on this game is the best I have ever seen, okay? Guys, this is actually a mobile game, but I'm just playing on an emulator, like I said, so... Um, so yeah, there is so much customization, but we want to actually see the game, so I'm not going to go into it fully. If you want to see the customization, um, a lot more of the customization, look at my previous video, which I'll post just here. Okay, here we go, guys. Obviously, this is all going to be in some different language, so... I'm just going to have to kind of, yeah, figure out what language it is. So let's just, uh, I'm, this is kind of the tutorial screen. As you can see, the movements are very good. It's similar to Rules of Survival mode. So we've got an auto fire mode in here. Let's put that on now. Ah, uh, there we go. It's already on, guys. So the auto fire is basically, as soon as you move your cursor on an enemy, it'll start shooting. The destroyer deals massive damage to shield walls. Give it a go. Jesus! I'm wounded, so I need to use bandages to heal myself. So, guys, the bandages heal that quickly. They're pretty cool. That was a med kit I just used then, so that's pretty cool. Um, proceed to the location. So, let's have a look over here and see what we got. Let's open this. So, guys, these are kind of like the chests in uh, Fortnite. So, a HWPN core grants special effects to attached weapon. Your destroyer gained a weapon skill. After you've equipped the, en the enhanced core... Go try out the skill. Oh my gosh, I just shot three of them. Right, guys, here is the building aspect of the game, okay? You can actually build on this game. Click in here, next to here, you can build a shield wall, just like that, which is pretty cool. There, there are other kind of building aspects to it, but again, this is a tutorial, so let's carry on going and see what's what. So you can vault, obviously. Let's jump over. Guys, this game is basically like parkour. You can parkour over a lot of things. You can climb up walls. You can roll, just like that. So it's going to be quite a fast-paced, quick game. Um, but yeah, that's that's the kind of stuff you can do. So here, guys, you can actually just climb up walls as well. So that's the good thing is you can... If you're in a fight, there's a lot of kind of escape routes to get out of. So you can also glide as well, guys. So if you look here, what you do is you jump off... If you're on a certain high level from from the ground, you can jump off, press the space, press the jump button again, and you can actually glide. So, guys, there's no fall damage in the game, so it's pretty impossible to fall. If you do fall, that, well, I mean, there is fall damage, but if you do fall, then you're a noob. Woo! Look at the lobby screen. That's upgraded a lot since I last played it, guys. So, as you can see, you've got the customization character here, which is pretty dope. I mean, oh my god, I mean. Even her boobs wobble. Again, let's have a look at the inventory. So we've got some sort of present up here. You can get V-coins. 
down here. Obviously, you can get amazing stuff. You can get daily, um, daily gifts. Let's go on to the hero and check this out. So, it actually so shows, uh, gives you an example, uh, a description of what the actual character is and her background. So that's pretty cool. That doesn't really do that in other games. Obviously, guys, there's skins in every game. As it's in release, there's just default skins at the moment. We've got weapons. We've got so many different weapons. I mean, just look at some of these weapons. A Liberty Alpha. We've got a Drake Buster. We've got a Crusader, which looks like some sort of Tesla gun. Uh, little sort. I think that's sort of the shotgun in the game, a Tiburon. We've also got the Valkyrie Sniper, which looks dope. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a little SMG, the Foxtrot. We have an Omega. SMG as well. We've got a Soul Snatcher. So guys, I mean, look at all these guns. There's so many different guns in the game. So, oh my gosh, look at that. Falling Star. Jesus Christ. Guys, we've also got vehicles in the game. So this is the Dawnbreaker vehicle. We've also got a freaking Wind Rider, Lamborghini, whatever that is. We've got the No Roof Cowboy. And we've also got the uh, Speedboats in the game, guys. So it's, again, it's very similar to the Rules of Survival aspect, but the graphics are hugely improved on this game. So, Let's check out droid. So you've got a little droid by your side, which I think helps you fight enemies. I'm not quite sure yet. We'll, we'll have to check that out in the game. Um, you've also got little skills that you can add to the droid. Um, I'm not going to go over, over too much detail, guys, because I'll do that in separate videos. So I'll tell you what, let's just get into the game. We've got solo mode, we've got four-player squad, and we've got two-player squad, okay? Uh, and you can also do tutorials and training as well, which is... Uh, Pretty self-explanatory. Season 1. Obviously, the season hasn't started yet because it's only in release in three countries. We've got the mall as well, which isn't available yet. So, let's hop straight into a game and uh, see what it's all about. Okay, guys. So, this is the lobby screen. As you can see, this, uh, there's a lot of kind of buildings and etc. There's kind of some big pylon things there. Um, yeah, it's a huge lobby screen. It's kind of similar to the PUBG um, lobby screen, which is uh, which is pretty cool. So, as you can see over here, we've got some kind of screens, and yeah, we've got all the players around. We've got some spaceships too, which is pretty cool. A um, couple of pylon towers, uh, and here's all the enemies chilling around, rolling around, guys. So you can crouch, you can you can roll, you can jump. Which is awesome. Again, guys, you can build. Um, I can build a car right now if I want to. You can spawn cars on here, which is uh, which is amazing. So this is going to be perfect for actually getting out of a um, a kind of a, a fight if you're losing. So here we go, guys. Ultra settings on Cyber Hunter. Look at this. Wow. As you can see, guys, it's very similar to the kind of rules of survival aspect, but the map on here is amazing. Look at the map on here. It's huge. Absolutely huge. You've got kind of two big islands, and then you've got one small island in the bottom corner. Uh, I'm going to go drop down here and see what's down here. Let's, uh, let's take a look. The good thing about this, guys, okay, is you can drop out, and if you press this button above my head here, it auto locks on to where you have... Um, place the marker so you don't actually have to press anything when you actually start the game so that's a cool aspect that they've added and they should have that in most battle royales which they don't so but let's check out um what we have here so you do land straight away which is cool we do have a some sort of gun i'm not sure what it is um i have got auto fire on guys so we've got someone over there i'm about to grenade right now he has just put something out so i'm gonna have to get in this building so i can get a decent gun to fight him with we do have an smg now so let's uh let's let's take the fight to him let's take the fight to him let's go okay we cannot hit him so i guess we're gonna have to go for the smg Okay, there we go. We have taken him out with the SMG. I don't think he had a gun, so let's get a GG for that dude right there. Okay, we have a shotgun. Uh, I'm not sure about this big sort of Tiberian gun. It looks amazing, but I don't think it's great. So anyway, let's uh, let's carry on. So we've got some armor. We've got basic helmets, guys, as well. So as you can see here, you've got four slots in the inventory. You've got a helmet, 
Um, you have basic helmets. You have re you have basic, which is a starter. You have um, advanced, which is one up. You have rare, which is one up, and then you have epic. So there are different armors you can get too, uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I've got some basic at the moment, starting off, so let's go see what this dude had. He had a med kit, he's got some quantum cubes as well. Again, guys, these quantum cubes are very useful, okay, because these three settings over here, okay, you can actually change those to um, anything you like, and I'll go over the menus in a different video of what you can actually change those to, but at the moment, you have a bush, which you can pull out. So, for all you bush campers out there, if you want to pop a bush out wherever you want, that's pretty cool. We do have a shield as well. Which costs 30, so let's put that out, see what that's all about. So there we go, guys, you can put shields out as well, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, you can uh, you can get a car as well, which costs 60. So the quantum cubes are a, an amazing aspect they've added into it. And guys, I think another little aspect they've added as well is they've, they've added... I'm going to show you right now. You're not going to be able to fall on this game and die from fall damage, because look, all you have to do is press space again after you press jump twice... And you pull out a little glider, which uh, which glides you anywhere you like. It's not going to be very good when you're kind of in front of an enemy. But when you want to get to places and when you want to jump off a small little cliff that you can't, you can just glide down, which is awesome. As you can see, guys, you have energy rolling as well. So I only you only have a certain amount of uh, roll energy. Which will uh, kind of respawn as you go. I think someone just shot at me, so I need to be careful here. I think we're going to go for this sniper right here, whatever whatever it is. Let's, uh, let's check out the empty coffin sniper. Oof. This does look very beasty, so let's test that out right now. Wherever that enemy is. We're going to go this way. I do see a sort of red arrow in the sky there, so let's see if that's some sort of drop. Um... As you can see, guys, there's a lot of, again, a lot of different different aspects in this game. You've got the items. You can actually, if you click over here, nearby, uh, any items that are nearby, I'll show you right now, um, should show up in that menu. So let's let's find an item quickly that we can test that on over here. So if you bring up the menus right here, as you can see, there's a frag that I've just picked up, some rifle ammo nearby. You can pick it up straight away from doing that. It's a bit of a longer way. So again, guys, this is a mobile game, so I have got auto pickup on. Um, so we don't have to worry about that so much, but let's go towards um, let's go towards this drop over here. Okay, we got an epic helmet. There is a soul snatcher sniper, which I think is the best sniper in the game because that has come comes with a four X as well. So let's definitely use that. And we are being shot, so let's kill him quickly. Missed the first shot. Let's go for the second one. Okay, this dude is uh, destroying me, so let's just get the SMG out and do that. Okay, we do have another dude creeping up on me here. Thinks I can't see him, but we can, so let's try and get the headshot on him. There we go. He's dead, so there we go. We do have some fire over here, so I'm guessing there's some players over here. Let's go check it out. So guys, we're going to try and get a nice little sniper shot over here. If we hit one of them, there is another one over there. I'm going to try and hit right now. I did miss, so let's try that again. We did miss again. Guys, I think it's hit Reg on here, so as long as your target's actually on the person, it will hit on the sniper. There's no bullet drop, which is pretty awesome. There's a lot of people fighting here, so we're going to go and destroy this dude right here. And then we're going to go and pop a heal before we uh, engage in this fight. Get the SMG out ready. Let's go. Grab some uh, some ammo from him just there. Get that reloaded. And there was some more people here, so let's open that, see if there's anyone inside. Can go in all buildings as well, guys. I'm going to show you now exactly what I mean by wall climb. So all you got to do is jump on the wall, and you can climb up any building. You can get on roofs. You can get on a lot. So, guys, this is, this is why this game is pretty cool, because it's got a lot of different aspects to it. As you can see, you can glide as well from different buildings. So as I killed him, I'm going to go glide over and grab his stuff. You can undeploy the glider. 
So I would be careful doing that. Obviously, you don't want to take some fall damage, which is pretty cool. Let's grab all this stuff right here. We've got the auto one. We've got someone right here um, driving a car up to the drop. So let's get a sniper shot on him when he gets out. Okay, we missed that. So let's just uh, let's try and get some high ground, and then we can take some shots at him. Let's just get that reloaded. And there he is. Did hit one shot on him. Trying to hit one more. Can't hit a shot. There we go. We've hit the shot. Not sure how he's not dead yet. This sniper is very powerful. So let's just take out this dude that's fighting him. As you can see, guys, that is a bot right there. So the bots are um, the bots are kind of a, a lot harder to kill on this game. There are bots. Obviously, it's going to add bots in the game, guys, on a game like this. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty cool. That's um, oh, we can kind of do a, a front roll straight over there, which is awesome. Right, let's get up to this dude right here. Who he is around here somewhere? There we go. Let's get some auto fire shots on him. There we go. We have killed him now. So got another person coming over here. Let's grab the sniper and see if we can get a quick scope on him. Test the no scope. There we go. Oh, right, let's see what this uh, this drop has to offer as well, guys. We are in the zone, so we're in a good position. We just got some epic armor, and also I see an eight tom scope in here, so we're gonna go and uh, pop that on straight away. Let's pop the eight toms on the soul reaper. Let's get rid of the four times. We also have the red dot on there as well, which is pretty cool. The zone is pretty far away, so let's make a move there now. As you can see, guys, I am down here. Ah, oh, there we are. What an idiot! Can't even see myself. There we go, guys. You can see your little marker down there. Um, the little dot, the little blue dot. So let's make our way towards the zone. Okay, let's go. Let's test the driving out. So you can destroy bollards as well, which is pretty cool. Let's do that. We've also got a boost just here as well, which um, which boosts you pretty far. You have got music in the, in the car as well, so you can turn the music down and up, which is awesome. So you can listen to music while you're cruising around killing people. The boost does resume as well. Guys, you don't run out of petrol in here as well, so you can literally just fly around wherever you like. Wherever you like. That gives you a little extra boost. So there we go. That is the, uh, that's the vehicle, guys. I think each vehicle also has a different song in it. I can see someone in the distance over there. So let's try and get a scope on him. I'm not sure how that missed. I'm not sure how that missed. There we go. We hit him just there. We have killed him. Okay, we are going to pop a heal right now. Let's pop a med pack. We're going to pop some uh, adrenaline as well, guys, which is very similar to the uh, sort of energy drinks in other games. Kind of uh, heals your shield. Because you do have a shield above your health, as you can see just there. And it also shows what tier your armor is on the right just there. So if there's three little green marks, that shows it's epic. If there's two, it's rare. If there's one, it's advanced. If there's none, it's basic. As you can see, I can see someone in the water just then who just... crashed his car in the water. So let's get a nice little zoom on him. We can't hit him because he's lagging all over the place. There we go, we got one here and he's dead. There you go guys, as you kill someone, as you can see, you can hear a noise when you kill someone to, so you know that they are fully dead. I am going to have to swim over because I am um, out of the zone on this side. So guys, you can go underwater, you can go above. As you can see next to your health bar right there, there's a little meter that's going around in a circle. That's on red right now. That is your air to breathe. Okay, let's pop out the assault rifle. See if we can uh, see where these dudes are shooting from. Just over here. So, yeah, as you can see, they're right there. So, let's try and get a sniper as our final kill. You can see the last person is just over there. So, let's pop that. And there we go, guys. Uh, we won our first game on uh, Cyber Hunter. And as you can see, it's got a pretty cool animation when you win. And there we go. 15 kill game is our first game, so GG!
We've just tiered up to level 3 as well, which is awesome. We can unlock new skills. I will show you the skills, guys, because the droid is everything. So what you can do, guys, is, as you can see, when you can build stuff, uh, the, the, the more levels you gain, the more stuff you can actually build. So the more you grind, the more it'll pay off because you can create a quantum barrier at level 9 around you. You can get some fire support, which gives you extra stuff on your guns i will go into detail about this guys on a different video but there is the overall kind of description of the game so let me know in the comments exactly what you think guys like i said i'm working closely with the devs to release more information it is only available in singapore and indonesia so um if you do want to play it i'm going to put in the description exactly how to play it uh so yeah guys if you like the video make sure to subscribe um, as I'll be releasing more about the game as future updates come out. And yeah, subscribe, like the video, and I will see you in the next one. Yeah, boy! Gila.